sounds cool. All right. Hello, Laughter Yogis around the world. Welcome to another episode of Laughter Yogi of the week. Today I am together with a very special guest. His name is Slash. He resides in the beautiful, beautiful United States on the East Coast, just south of New York City. And I'm here with him today. Slash, would you mind introducing yourself a little bit uh, to the people that don't know you yet? Sure. Uh, my name is Slash Coleman and I am a laughter yoga teacher and also a professional storyteller and also what's called an addiction activity facilitator. Ah, fantastic. All right. Yeah. There's a lot of things in one. Fantastic. <laughs> and slash, is your name, does it have any connection with the famous guitarist by any chance? <laughs> uh, my, my, my mom and dad were huge Guns N' Roses fans and they just gave me his name slash. No, I'm just joking. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you may have noticed, I have a name that's uh, similar to the famous guitarist and also a, a symbol found in grammar books, not to be confused with the dash. Ah, um, okay. uh, but, okay. but I'm glad you, may, you, you know the reference because there's a generation out there that doesn't know who Slash from Guns N' Roses is. So, um, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did some digging on the internet when I was in the <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that part aside. <laughs> slash, slash, you will be hosting a, a very interesting event here on, on Wednesday. It will be happening online at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. There's a lot of different time zones. We can find them on the link that is somewhere up in this email yeah. or below yeah. on this video, somewhere left, somewhere right, <laughs> uh, somewhere within your shirt. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it will be amazing and it is, it is named redefining if you could fill in the other gap. Yep. redefining addiction and recovery through laughter yoga wow fantastic very amazing yes yes we're going beyond the part that is just fun and we're going into the part that is actual healing fantastic fantastic and Slash, sure. i think a lot of people will be very interested to hear the backstory a little bit about how this event came to life how did it come to being actually would you mind to enlighten us yeah. Um, so I came to laughter yoga after my, I was on a book tour and my right lung mysteriously collapsed. And um, when I, I was in the hospital for a month and the surgeon said that laughter would help my, my lung heal. And so my healing journey led me to India and studying with Dr. Gataria. But while I was there, um, it was while I was doing laughter yoga meditation that I sort of had an epiphany around how this type of meditation might be the missing link between what we call traditional meditation. And we know with traditional meditation, it's amazing stuff when you sit in lotus and silence and kind of stare at the wall until you can't feel your legs. Even though it's hard to do, it changes brain function by redirecting neural pathways and changes gene expression. But for most people in the West, it's completely hard because it's based in silence. Laughter yoga meditation is a type of meditation that we do where we generate laughter as an external and internal sound source. So there's no barrier there. We don't sit in silence. We're using noise as the key component. I began to think, you know what? For people that struggle with addiction, um, uh, meditation is a key component, but oftentimes they don't do it. They'll do something meditative like, like gardening or going for a walk or fishing um, or knitting. They call that Oh, I'm doing meditation, but they're doing something meditative like that's not the type of meditation that really changes our neural pathways. And I began to think, wow, I wonder if laughter yoga meditation could be one of one of the key things to bridge people from being non meditators into meditators. And so when I got back from India, I went right to a to a recovery and addiction center. And I was passionate about that because there are nine people in my family that struggle with addiction. And it's not just addiction to, to drugs or alcohol, it's to exercise, it's to eating, it's to um, gaming, it's to the internet. All these things have affected my family in major ways. And so in some ways I felt like taking it into a, a treatment center, I might be able in some subliminal way, go back and help members of my family uh, as well. And so I laid a foundation with three groups that I was working with in, a, in an intensive outreach uh, center, which was laughter yoga meditation, um, the science of applied storytelling. How do we change the story about who we are? And a lot of that is telling our new laughter story, which is like, how did you find laughter? Um, what were you like before you found laughter? And what's it like now? And the amazing thing about it is that, we, as you know, we have this network of, of uh, laughter yoga clubs worldwide where people can just go and, and, and connect with others and tell their laughter story. But for people in treatment, it allows them to go into laugh with other people and feel normalized. They don't feel like they're different or they need to be fixed. And that's a really beautiful, what I'm doing in the treatment centers 
in addition to the, la the laughter yoga clubs, it, it ties in really nicely to each other. And so on Wednesday, I'll be talking about this new program I created. It's called um, an addiction activity treatment program, a laughter yoga addiction activity treatment program. And so it's my hope that, you know, Wednesday can be the beginning of this conversation on how we can use laughter yoga more for the treatment of recovery and addiction. Mm. Wow. That is, uh, it's very beautiful. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, very moving. Wow. Uh, fantastic. Um, yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. And the thing is, I was just thinking, because you mentioned that, uh, like, the beauty of laughter yoga, of the laughter groups that are happening online, is that the people who struggle with addictions, they can join uh, these laughter groups that we are organizing online. Uh, and is that something that you do on a regular basis that people that you recommend people to to join our laughter clubs? Yeah, so to, I've seen some amazing transformations happen when someone goes into treatment, and then they will transition into what we call sometimes a sober living home. It's a, where they go before they go back into regular life. And when they've been attending my laughter yoga clubs, and it doesn't matter if it's mine or someone else's, there are right alongside people that are just regular people. No one knows if you're addicted to something or you're not or, or, or what issues you may have. And so you get to feel um, like you're normal for once and you're, you're just laughing for wellness and health. And because we have this kind of worldwide network uh, of laughter yoga clubs, it allows people who are kind of going through this intense therapy and treatment to kind of embrace that a little bit. Um, and since we do it online now, it's a little bit less scary for people than actually kind of going in and doing it in person. Yeah, fantastic. Wow, we, we want. Very, very cool. Yes, yes. Another aspect of the beautiful laughter yoga movement that I really enjoy as well is that it's all inclusive. It doesn't really matter who you are, where you're from, what the color of your skin is, if you got 16 hairs on your head or none, or <laughs> if you got a, a big beard or no beard, it doesn't yeah. matter. So it, is, it is absolutely beautiful. Wow. So super fantastic. I think a lot of people are really looking forward to your event. I think it was very interesting as well to hear a little bit of the background of where you come from. And yes, uh, I would recommend everybody who is watching this to come and join us on Wednesday, six o'clock Eastern Standard Time and uh, different times around the world. Sure. <laughs> and you will find the different time zones in the link somewhere left, right, up, down in your shirt where. <laughs> and yes, <laughs> for now, I think we could uh, say to all the last yogis around the world, keep on smiling, keep on laughing and see you on Wednesday. <laughs> Great, thank you. <laughs> ciao, ciao. <laughs>